So this is my new makeup routine video. Last month I did my old makeup routine. I'm really excited about this one to show you guys my new steps and you know what I'm doing now. I like it so much better. I'm glad I discovered it. So let's get into it. The best thing about this makeup routine is that it is made for my face. I actually started looking into it and figuring out my face shape and what doesn't work, what works, etc. Because before I was just doing whatever was trendy. So I was out there looking crazy, you live and you learn. But yeah, the first thing is that I am paying attention to my skin and my complexion. So my face is the lightest part of my body, especially in the center area. So if I put on a, a shade of foundation that's even a little bit darker than it should be, I'm going to look like I have mud on my face. Um, and then if I do a too light foundation, then I'm going to look like Michael Jackson. So I'm definitely one of those people that needs to mix foundations and I was never doing that before. Um, so that's the first step. I'm going to take the lighter foundation and start from the middle of my face and then start blending on the perimeter that should be a little bit darker. So, so I put the lighter foundation on my brush. I try to only squeeze two small bits of foundation. So this one's really light. You guys are probably screaming, but like I said, it works for the middle of my face. And I just put like two dollops this big, very, very small, kind of pat it out with my finger. I'm not going back into that foundation because it will look insane. So first things first. Then I'll take my darker shade and do the same thing. And that's when I'll go over the whole entire part of my face. I was watching a video, or my boyfriend showed me a video actually, where someone was calling these uh, slut strands. <laughs> I don't agree with that, that's fucked up, but <laughs> now I call them that. So let me just move my slut strands really quick and then I will pat across my face with the darker shade. <laughs> coverage is pretty even um I'm just that's the thing I'm most happy about is learning that I don't have to cake my face with foundation because I'm just looking so much better like pictures of me probably before 2019 it was abysmal I was just really going hard like a mask on my face and no one told me though so that, I think that's what I'm more salty about my friends really did me dirty no one pointed it out my next step is concealer. I used to take it all the way out like a raccoon because there was a trend where everyone was over baking and over highlighting their under eye and it looks crazy <laughs> on me. I mean, do your own thing, but I, I know a lot of people still do that. So I'm only gonna concentrate where I need it and just use whatever's on the brush. I'm not gonna keep dipping. And then that's it. That's it y'all. And then blend that in. I think that my face is long. <laughs> it's not extremely long. It's just not short. Um, I want a short face. <laughs> so I think the long part of my face is my chin. Um, but it's not too bad. So just to make my face look shorter and rounder, I need to focus on making my eyes the focal point. So my eyes are a bit small too. So I need to make sure that I'm drawing the attention to the outer corners as I apply my makeup. I'll focus on the inner corners first though, and I am using a pure white, and I will stop around here. That's done, so I will take a cobalt gray and put that right here, and then a darker color will go on the outside, not black though, because black will make my eyes look even smaller. But yeah, it's just like a layering process. Alrighty, so the next step will be add an outer corner shade. Next part in this new makeup routine is how I do my contour. It is so different. Um, I was contouring like this and just dragging my face down, making my face look so much longer. I need to make the apples of my cheeks look really, really round. So my contour should be like starting right here almost and almost going from my nose and creating two circles. So that way when you see it, it's like my cheekbones pop 
and you're drawn to the middle of my face. This is a very delicate operation because my face is so light in the middle that <laughs> if I put too much on, you will know. Um, so I'll use a lighter brown and I'll go lightly from nose to my outer cheek on both sides. Okay, so you can kind of see it. This is just my first try at it. Um, it's creating this little circle right here. So then I take pressed powder in my brush and that's how I blend it out. So I'm just gonna go straight over it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is lighten my under eye though using a pressed powder. So I'll take a flat brush like this and then go under my eyes to just really brighten that area up without having to use concealer. So you can almost see it already without the lashes or lips or anything. Just my face is just like going up and my cheekbones are more prominent. And it's working, it's working you guys. Next is blush. I never wore blush because I had a period of time when I was 14 in high school where I would wear blush that looked like a clown. I'm not kidding. The most electric pink blush centered right here on my cheeks, not blended in. I thought I was cute and I kid you not when I realized, like it clicked probably when I was like 16 and I can't wear my blush like that. I never put it on again, as in did not own blush until about a year ago. But unfortunately, I need to do this step just like I was doing when I was 14. I need to put most of my blush in the middle, um, almost touching my eye. And this time I'll blend it out though. <laughs> I'll be playing with contour again here. I'm really scared of this step because I filmed a forever single. That will be coming out probably next month. And I did my chin contour and I did not blend it in. I completely forgot. I was feeling a little under the weather that day. I was out of it. So I look like Rick Ross, like a finely, beautifully applied makeup beard. Thick, thick, thick. So I'll take a brown contour and I'll go underneath and create that beard. <laughs> and go along the edge of my jawline. I don't need contour right here and I don't need it on my forehead. I think I have a pretty like average size forehead. So I'm only doing what works for my face. So I will go ahead with that very lightly because of my complexion, anything will show. It will be super crazy looking if I go too heavy with this. So I just don't need and once I feel like I'm brave enough, I'll go a little higher up on this like part of the two chins that I have. Um, whatever, <laughs> I'm me, I'm cute, uh, two chins or not. So I go ahead over the first of my chins and darken it right here. So if you're looking at me like this, you can see like my face looks chiseled on the bottom. You can see that, that's there. <laughs> Press powder, go over it, and blend it out. All right, so my brows have always been the bane of my existence, this brow especially. Um, I had them microbladed in 2018, and they're pretty much faded out at this point. I'm not gonna get them done again, they're fine. But basically, I've always filled them in to where the, the artist stopped. Um, and to make my face look wider, I need to go out just a little. Now, this is something I used to do, but I was doing it wrong. I was going all the way out, but I was going down and out. So they look like the Basset Hound brows that I've showed you guys before when I was in high school. So I was going all the way out to fucking here and it's all down here. So when I'm drawing in my brows now, I make sure to try to extend out almost like thin lines or like going shh, shh. And I'll just push it back from there. Comparatively, you can see from my natural brow and it drawn in, it does make my face go out further like that. So we'll stop while we're ahead. I will do the other brow off camera and then I'll be back with my next step. Next thing we're gonna do is talk about highlight. Um, I used to love highlight everywhere. So I take a little bit of white, do that on the tip of my finger, like that. And I focus on my nose. Again, we're drawing attention to the middle of my face. Next, I'm gonna do my lips. Um, the trick here is to overline because 
the closer your top lip is to your nose and the bottom lip is to your chin, it makes your face look shorter. So my lips are already naturally full. Thank you, blessed. Um, I'm going to still overline though and try not to overdo it. <laughs> Aside from making it look like I have a mustache or something, my lips are bigger um, with this technique. So I'm gonna fill this in with a light peach and then go over that. Lashes are next. This is another update to my routine. Usually I put on a big lash, corner to corner, looking like I can fly away. So I have barely a few left in this pack, but I will take them and cut them in half. Usually I do trim them, but with this look, I'm definitely going all the way half with these. So comparatively, this is gonna be way too big and this is what I was wearing all the time and it just doesn't work. So, so these are my teeny tiny baby lashes. I will put them on the outside of my lid and then we'll finish up this look. My last step will be my under eye. Uh, you guessed it, the closer my eyelid looks to the, the middle of my face, the smaller my face will look. So I'm taking a dark eyeshadow on a brush that's like this, and I will line underneath my eye with this powder. All right, so that concludes this 10 minute tutorial on my new makeup routine. Please watch my old makeup routine video from last month and leave me a comment here and let me know if you see a difference. I completely do, just the way I applied it, how much makeup I used, just being more strategic. I think it looks so much better. I love it. I love how it turned out. So yeah, tell me your thoughts. And as always, I'll be back next time. It's Age of the Aquarius, baby. Bye.